Okay, Abigail is the new movie by Matt Bidinelli Oren and Tyler Gillert, better known as Radio Silence. They're responsible for the last couple Scream movies, plus a couple others that got them on the map. Here they are back with Melissa Barrera, a uh, whole all-star cast actually, Dan Stevens, Giancarlo Esposito, Catherine Newton, Angus Cloud is on here, and is that who I think it is? No, but like all jokes aside, why did they make this guy look like a buff Elon? But if I was a group of criminals who do a robbery on this rich person's house and take their daughter, hoping to get a ransom, but of course things are not quite as it seems, and this little girl is anything but harmless. Abigail is now an entry into the Universal Monsterverse, which it's funny because I feel like they're just going off of what works with audiences and what doesn't. I think that Abigail will work with some audiences, but for those that are kind of looking for something with a trick up its sleeve or a little reinvention, this is just not it. There's things that I liked about Abigail. I thought it was action packed. Every now and then I had a funny joke or two, but overall my brain turned itself off pretty early on in this movie and I was just kind of bored by this one. It's cool to see Melissa Barrera in a lead again, especially like in another horror movie like this, but I don't know, I found her to be very flat on this movie. Also, Dan Stevens. I usually really enjoy this guy, but this whole accent that he has going on doesn't really do favors for this movie. It's just way too goofy. They could have just retooled this guy to have his normal English accent, but I don't know what they were trying to go for here. And uh, Catherine Newton, who I recently reviewed for Lisa Frankenstein, and I enjoyed her on that. She is just so irritating on this movie, and I hate to say that, because I... I like her on screen for sure. She didn't play this role with any kind of unique flair at all. It's nice to see Angus Cloud, rest in peace, man. He He's going to be missed. He's a great on-screen presence. Uh, that being said, this isn't really one of his best moments. They do dedicate this movie to him at the end though, so props to them for that. And Alicia Weir as Abigail, she's fine. She does kind of carry this movie on her shoulders alongside Melissa but it's another kid actor. Don't expect anything so dramatic here. I know they want to make these characters kind of unlikable. I mean, they're criminals, you know, it's a horror movie. They're going to get picked off and stuff, but still like you're spending all your time with them and it's just not that much fun. This movie reminds me a lot of the other Radio Silence movie that put their names on the map, Ready or Not. Samara Weaving is just replaced with Melissa Barrera here and uh, Melissa is just far less interesting. Her archetype is pretty cut and dry. I don't want to go into it so much, but of course she is the one that deserves the money more than any of the other ones do. Like you really got to put reality on the side whenever you do watch this movie. I don't want to knock Radio Silence's direction all too much because this is a very bloody movie. There's just buckets and buckets of gore on here. This movie reminded me a lot of Evil Dead Rise from last year. By no metric is this some sort of B movie or some sort of splatter horror movie. It's very audience friendly. It's very production friendly. I think that they played it very safe with this movie. If you've seen the trailer of this movie and you can kind of build up what you think is going to happen on this movie, I would say there's an 80 to 90% chance that you are right. And if you want to skip the movie because of that, maybe you should. Was this movie scary? No, it's not. Um, was this movie funny? It had its moments. It's getting a lot of acclaim and good for the team for the achievement. But I have no future going back and rewatching this, nor did I really have all that much fun watching it either. So I would give Abigail a 5.9 and it is released by Universal Pictures and it is playing in theaters everywhere right now. Thanks for watching.